the equation from a table. So the example that we are going to do is going to be a linear function. So the first thing that we need to do in our calculator is go to our main screen. And here in our main screen, we are going to go down to our list and spreadsheet. From our list and spreadsheet, this will appear. And the most important part before we start is for us to label our columns. What do I mean by that? Right here, A, this is our X column, which we know that every column on our left in our table is going to be our X values, but we are here we have to label it. And our second column is going to be our Y values. Okay. After that, we are going to skip the equal sign. This is something we are not going to use right now, and we have to skip it or it can change our answers drastically. So now we're going to go to the cell with the number one, and here we are going to start putting our next value. So in this case, we have negative 10, enter, 0, enter, 15, enter, and 25, enter. Always place enter so you are able to see and know that your inputs are actually into the calculator. The calculator actually has your data. Now we're going to put our y value. So we have now negative 5, enter. 1, enter, 10, enter, and 16, enter. Always enter so the data gets inputted into the calculator. Once you have all your table values in, the next step is to go again to the main menu, please do not close, or everything that we just did will disappear. And in our main menu, we are going to go to the very next uh, application, or however you want to call it, the data and statistics. When you open here, this will happen. Everything is out of order and it's going to look completely different for every single person. So that is because we have not defined our variables. So we're going to come down here with this click to enter the value. We know this is our x axis, so here comes the x. And we know that this is our y axis, so we select y. Now we can actually see our data, our points actually graph. But we want to go further and actually get the equation that will line up these values. How do we do that? So first we're going to go to menu. Then we're going to select analyze or number four. Then we're going to go to regression, which is number six. And we know this is going to be a linear pattern. And we normally use our linear functions. We like them to be in uh, y equals mx plus b. So we're going to select number one. And that will give us right here our line. And this will be the equation of a linear function. Y equals 0.6x plus 1. 